Good evening, guys. I am out in my snow garden. I am feeling a little sad. We've had our first frost. We get frost all year round, so, but we hadn't had one in a few months, and that was last week. And tonight, um, today actually, yesterday was 90 degrees, and today was, didn't, I don't even know if it got past 65. And with that come, with the next 10, the 10 day forecast, I don't think we get above 75. And we have a lot of days in the 60s. And actually, I think Friday is in the 50s, 58, 59. And currently, my garden, I still feel like hasn't, it's hitting its peak, but there's so much left to bloom for the sunflowers. And they can handle some frost, which is great. As long as it doesn't get in the teens. So I'm just praying. And But I'm feeling really sad and emo about, I feel like I could cry about my garden ending this year. And, and honestly, I'm not sure why I feel sad, but I do. And it's been such a lovely garden here. I gotta show you this light pink holly. Hi, pretty. Isn't she gorge? I love that one. This one back here has definitely been one of my favorites. Ooh, that one's pretty too. Look at her, isn't she gorge? I have just thoroughly been enjoying this garden season and we have rain on the forecast. In two days we should be getting hit with a ton of rain for the next four, five days, which is September's Friday. Looks like my potatoes are kind of falling down and getting ready to harvest. Hi beauty. Look at this. I wanted to show you guys this. Look at this beauty. Hello. I'm crushing this. I'll say scrubbed. Look at that beauty. Nice. I have quite a few really good cabbages, which means I can make my grandma. She used to make me this dish when I was a child. And now, um, as she's gotten older and doesn't cook much, I have been making it for her with my fresh produce. It's called, she always called it sizzle and squeak. Um, I think there's different names for it. And I think it's a German dish. And basically you chop up cabbage, you chop up some onions. I, th I don't know if there's potatoes in it. I throw potatoes in it and grandma would always season it. She was raised with a German grandmother. Her grandmother was German. And so the seasoning was very, very light when I was a kid. And now I put, I cook a lot more. I cook a lot more with seasoning. And she, my grandma loved, absolutely loved it last year. So I'm planning to make her a crap ton of sizzle and squeak. And it's really good. I'll probably make it for a video for you guys so you can get to see how I do it. And yeah, the garden is coming to its peak. And when you live in a short season, you it's bittersweet. And I wrote a little thing. I didn't even mean it as a poem for my community page, for my community post. <laughs> but as I ended up reading it, it was a poem. And I didn't even know I was writing a poem. Could, because you know when it hits its peak, it's a little bittersweet because it's going to cut. The end is close. Like the end is near. It's going to come and it's going to take all the beauties out. I don't think this camera can quite grasp. Sometimes I use my phone camera because it's in my pocket and like tonight, a night hike tonight, I haven't, wasn't intending to film. But because I wasn't intending to film, I use my phone. But then I'll, which has been a lot of most of the time, which is why I've been able to put out a video every three days because I just pull out my phone and start filming. Gosh, I'm right. So I come out and I'm not intentionally going to film, but then I end up filming because I find something to talk about. And currently it's just mourning the loss of my garden that's not even gone yet, <laughs> which, which I know is silly, but it's just how I'm feeling. And I thought I'd share it with you because I am traditionally a winter gal. I love the fall. I love the winter. But this year, whether it be a combination of our super cloudy gloomy wet winter which we didn't get a ton of snow we got a lot but for Christmas it poured rain I mean just like poured and I thought this was going to be the perfect year for our ice rink on Christmas Eve post an annual Christmas Eve 
celebration party and it poured there was like six inches of rain on my ice rink and so it was just really gloomy i dealt with a lot of melancholy seasonal depression stuff this year which i haven't dealt with since i lived in west virginia when it was very cloudy a lot of the time <laughs> And here in Central Oregon, we get th we have average 300 days of sunshine, so it's typically not an issue for seasonal type th things. But it was this year, and I'm kind of, I guess, I'm kind of every, the trees are already turning, um, my leaves are falling, I was sitting on the porch this, this morning, or yeah, this morning, leaves, the wind is blowing and leaves are falling on my feet, and I, and it's cold, and today you needed a flannel like all day long. Football is here, school starts next week. And I'm just really mourning the loss, the impending loss of this garden because I know soon it will be fall. Soon these flowers will be gone. And soon we'll be back into the cult, which I do love the cult guys. I am a Northern girl, but there's just something about this summer. It was special. It was my first summer that I got to garden with just me and my family or invite some friends over, but main, like we didn't have anybody else on the farm to work with. And it, it brought back the joy I have for the garden. In years, in the last few years, I had felt I had was following my dream. I really felt like that's what I wanted was to have interns and it was beautiful and volunteers and it was beautiful. I had, I have, forged some really good relationships through my intern I just, like a love for those the girls that came out and that was beautiful or my cousin Gabe I had him out one summer and he worked for us and I wouldn't give that up but I'm telling you this year when it became not a job and just got to dwell in the garden in the presence of the Lord with just me and him all season long, it really gave me my joy back. And to see it come to an end, it's heartbreaking. And if you're not a gardener, or if you don't find the Lord in the garden, which I don't know how you can't, but if you don't, it is one of the most beautiful places to come face to face with your creator. So I, I just throw that out there. If you don't know God or if you haven't ever had a personal relationship with him, go into the garden and just ask the creator of all to just show you who he is. Because he wants to share, he wants you to know him in this garden place. He wants you to come into the garden and know him. I believe so many people are being called back to the garden for this purpose, to know their creator. I am like processing this as I'm talking with you guys. I guess I have, since that frost last week, I have been feeling super emotional. Not where I'm bawling my eyeballs out, but just, you know, like being sad. Oh, I gotta get out here and harvest some, these parsnip seeds ready to go. Not like, I'm bawling my eyes out, but I have just been, I could work myself up like this and I'm just sad. And it is what it is. I'm reconnecting. I'm, I'm just finding, I've always loved the garden, but this year it's just, it's like renewing my soul. You become a little... I guess I was always a little dramatic before gardening, but when you become a gardener, you see the beauty in it all, and it just really makes you feel things deeply. <laughs> so I'm going to ponder around my little garden for just a little bit, and I'll, and I'll be back with you guys in a bit.
Well guys, it's getting pretty late. I just wanted to show, share with you how, what I was feeling in this moment. And I just thank you guys so much for following along with me. If you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us out and helps us grow. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.